Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Starfield. Spacers in Alter 5 survey to defeat Spacers in Alter 1 survey to So let's go to anyone Any one of them are One or five So this guy has the welder In trade welder And go to inventory Go to weapons Oh no not to inventory sorry Let's trade gear And if you see on weapons you can see this cutter here why is he carrying this grindle man he has 4 axe rip shot rip shot he has 2 space for now Take this, you can take shit like this. You scan for things, you find something useful, just go close to it. Oh shit. My ship auto repairs itself? Looks like so.
land on this as post to 309 let's go land maybe it's a ground fight now and this uh, spaceships uh, that i last year at the sky were very low Hell that those bodies disappeared like that. We got so many guys here. Where are the rest of the bodies?
hot. I don't know how to. I need to learn that thing. Maybe I will change it one to. This one. Six, so I will have to remove any something else. This one is less. I can use this one, right? And drop. This one perhaps forty six. The price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. Well said. Ortez safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestar and ask them to give you a medal. Now, wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. I know exactly how you feel. I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Yo. But I will never forget you. You're young, and you've got a future ahead of you. A bit of advice. 
I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. You see? I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the Free Star's hair. That you select and then you travel to that place. But when you are doing this mission here, that to go. Uh, burden of proof. What is that? This one searching for evidence. You cannot. You don't. See. Okay. Value is eighteen thousand. Holy shit! Says four months. Okay. Just yeah, good people. Maybe I was one of them. That's sorry. Right. Point. That girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time. I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. Well, next time I see her, I'll paste on a smile and ask her ever so nicely to pick them up. Again. I mean, this is between me and you, but Cora wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestyle Rangers. Had a partner. Million hearts. Man, we were like fire and ice, but, uh, no, it wasn't all bad. She's one of their top rangers, so they keep her in the field a lot. That's how she likes it. Understatement of the century. Yeah, you know, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew, I'd do anything for that girl. Yeah, yeah, big old mean Sam Poe loves his daughter. Alert SSNN. 
You said Cora was great, and I think so too. But I see so much of myself in her. I've, uh... I've done things I'm not proud of. I've <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but... Is she gonna fall into the same traps? And that's the truth there. I know it seems crazy, towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother, like I said, another story another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. <coughs> I'll think about it. But for now, she's happy. You know, she just goes on and on about you. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. You know, the way you handle things, I wouldn't say no to a gift. Keep that. Keep this one too. I need point four three MI bullets. I need to use this gun, man. One eighty one physical damage this gives. This value is thirty five thousand. And I don't even use the gun. I don't even use this gun also. So 7.5 mm and 0 .3, 0 0.43 mi. This rounds I need. Okay, now we can fast travel. Yep, I was done too. Let's fast travel to Porima. Come on, baby. Let's go to Porima. Speak with Chief Sugiyama. And where do we find Chief Sugiyama? Anything else here? Wait, let me check. We are going to Polymer 2. What the fuck, man? I don't understand this shit. Oh, 
वी आर हेयर राइट Did I not land on Purima too? I think I did. What is this? Setting down. Let me see what do I uh, get for the weapons. The weapon that is like uh, what was that? That I just got. This one shows forty eight hundred. selling this why would i you would keep patronage is much appreciated is there any assistance i may offer you should inspect your ship anything i can help you with you were able to land it so i'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed okay no problem and missile i will change this missile launcher this one gives good fire rate and max power is increased you can see three more bars from this so maybe i will choose the one that gives me the best outcome like this one here not always that uh, when you are selecting the pricey one it always gets the best it doesn't mean that see here the priciest pricey one is 13000 and it gives on uh, a negative bar on w2 on the left hand side if you see this is normal and then this 1001 gives me three more bars then i will see this one Check. 
Let's do this. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But, this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. Let alone human life out here. 
We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Well, I'll be. This is like a time capsule. Set with living, breathing people. We've got to explore this ship. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti Da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DeCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Doctor. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. Your security purposes. The constant is being overtrained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Just because of careful waving that fancy gun around, you don't need to see it. The Earth Colony Ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios. Climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction-level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed it's out there. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrived. So, here we are. Let's talk. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. A bit frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about discovering that we're not alone, and also worried about what will come to pass. While we hope we can work out a deal with the people on the surface, they seem reluctant to reach out, so there's no telling what will come of that. I do know that we can't afford to stay here in orbit forever. The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. I think I'm coming up on six years now. I was only a teenager when my father died, passing command of the ship to me, as is tradition. Because of that, I've had to sort of learn as I go along instead of taking years of study and apprenticeship under the prior captain. I think some people on the ship resent me for not having the level of experience as my predecessors. But at the same time, without my command, we likely wouldn't have made it here so quickly. <laughs> well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? We suspect that our equipment is woefully obsolete compared to whatever you all have now. In all honesty, we never expected to need to communicate with anyone, so our comms aren't particularly robust. That limits our options. We even attempted communicating with lights and sounds something we saw in an old movie, but I don't believe they picked up on it. If anything, it may have inadvertently alarmed them. Ah, so they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim, given their presence here. 
We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favours us. Based on the data our ancestors had when they launched this endeavour, it was determined that this was the perfect planet for us. Even if we had another viable candidate planet, we lacked the resources to get there. And as you know, it took us 200 years to get here. Our people have no desire to go back to drifting the stars so their children's children can possibly settle on an inferior planet. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such, but initially I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond and we'll go from there. You look crazy. You guys are running around for 200 years. You come to the sky and 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 you come to the sky We thought about it, but it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. I'm serious. We have a rightful claim to this land, and I intend to fight for it. But as you're currently our only hope, perhaps you'll honor my request and give it your all, for the sake of some very weary travelers who have come a very long way to be here. Thank you. We were never trained with the rest of the That's true. As you can imagine, everyone kind of just knows each other around here. Meeting new people isn't really a thing for us. I mean, I don't appreciate you telling me I just need to get over it, but you're not wrong. Everything changed when you arrived. I suspect I'll need to get used to the idea of strangers. Anyway, sorry for freezing up before. I just didn't expect our visitor from the outside to stop by and chat with me. 
I figured, if anything, you'd be with the captain. I'm Dice K, the ship's provisions manager. I'm not sure what I can offer you, but if I can help, I will. And if not, I'm happy just to talk. Not really. Things don't work that way here. It's not a shop like you hear about in the books and movies, or uh, <laughs> where you're probably from. Almost everything is communal or shared in some way, but sometimes people want a little something extra or special for themselves. So when that happens, they come to me. Mostly, I just keep track of the ship's inventory and help ration the supplies so we don't run out. We manage. I know back on Earth, there used to be stores all over the place. Some that even specialize in specific types of goods, if you can imagine. But here, this is it. We have very limited supplies. Most of our stuff is recycled. Even the food. In a roundabout way. If you know what I mean. It works out for the most part. Because it has to. You'll sense a running theme of that around here. See you around. Well, hi. I lived my entire life in a constant. I'm not sure how else to live. I wonder what it's like out there beyond our little community. So much more to learn about now. Just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Oh, I've heard of this technology, but always believed it was theoretical in nature. Maybe we can talk about it in more detail later. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to handle. I've waited this long. What's a little longer, eh? Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name! Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Ami. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Yes, of course! Anything for my new friend. Ah, great question! I did not know for sure, but I can venture a guess. All of the reading I've done on the matter suggests that at the time, there was uncertainty that the technology would ever work, or if it did, that it would work at the scale we needed. So, I trust they made the decision to strike out when they did, fully believing it was the only way. So long! We'll talk to him later. Okay, so 
टाइम का पता नहीं चलता है भाई पचास मिनट कब पार हो गया मैं तो कुछ कर भी नहीं पाया एक मिशन करते करते खत्म तो बहुत अंदर जाके करना पड़ेगा भाई ये है ही बहुत दूर चेक फॉर एम ओ लाइक शॉर्ट मॉडिफाइड ऑटो रिवेट शील्ड रियर ट्रिगर लेजर शॉर्ट लेजर साइड मोस्टली हैज लाइक पिस्टल वट दफ डिट आई बाई वन With right click. Okay. No. Thanks for shop. Need something? Mm-hmm. I bought it with seven thousand, and now when I go, when I'm going to sell it, I'm getting one thousand. This is really good. Looking for. This is fucking good, man. Maybe I will buy some packs. Oh, I need this. Seven point five mm. I need point four three mm. Seven point five mm. And point four five caliber. Point four five caliber and seven point five mm. Oh, oh, can't believe what. Oh, they're going to make them. Point four five caliber, seven point five mm. Maybe this one. this guy who is the main decision maker try to negotiate with this hey, excuse me you can't just waltz in there do you have an appointment oh you're the one they're waiting for then do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board <laughs> What I 
could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical sea level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them, because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. What's right. not to love about this planet? Thank you. I... We don't want to compete If you Neon. heard about us elsewhere, ridiculous. chances we'll do are... Anything you can do, eliminate it's the competition. because of me. We don't need that kind of trouble. That being said, I think there's a bit of ground. Maybe build up the beach for us in a boardwalk amusement park. I've had this one. Come on, mate. Loads more interesting things to do outside. I need to mill about in here. Oh yeah. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given the circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> You'd be surprised what people fall for. Locally sourced island fruit essences, for instance. It's just the same old fruits brought over from Earth ages ago, but we get nearly ten times the market for them. But you're right, no one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. So, tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? These aren't scaring people away. Bonza! That means we got them right where we want them! Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We operate outside of the Free Stars and the UC, partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. And we'd rather not draw attention to it, as I've mentioned. It could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs>
And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. I'd be hard pressed to defend that claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's officials can be. I'm sorry, but yeah. you're going to need to be the one to break yeah. the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Okay, it's already one hour, so. Okay, man. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200 year old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck! There's a lot of land out there for the taking. It'll be hard. Talk to anyone in list. But it'll be theirs. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. Sounds good. I'll look into what that will cost us and we can circle back around to this. I believe this outcome will be best. I wasn't looking forward to hosting a bunch of good shit. Sorry, you've got to go. So we'll start from here in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe. This is it for now. I'll be back with more exciting videos. Until then, stay tuned and have a good day, guys. Bye. Take care. See you soon.